What's up everyone, it's Endymion. I've been silent for a couple of days because I was in Las Vegas for the weekend. I got to eat some good food, I even got to see Trivium, Beartooth, and Malevolence in concert. It was a great time. But as I was tipsy wandering the Las Vegas Strip, it looks like Call of Duty went ahead and did one of the most moronic decisions we've seen this year. In case you don't know, and I'll try to keep it brief, one of the co-owners of FaZe Clan is Nick Merckx. He's a big time streamer for games, primarily Call of Duty. And before I begin, I'm just going to use random gameplay mostly in the background for this video as this is more so a rant. Give me a break alright, I'm still in Vegas mode. Anyway, there was this viral video where parents were pushing back against schools because of how hell-bent the education system is when it comes to pushing woke identity politics onto children. This all led to Nick Merckx, who's recently become a father by the way, congrats to him, decided to speak out and simply said that schools should leave kids alone when it comes to pushing these ideas on them. As you can imagine, this all led to massive backlash across the gaming community and beyond, with many saying Nick Merckx was anti-gay and hates the alphabet people. And it all led to Activision officially removing Nick Merckx's creator bundle from COD because of what he said. So basically what we're seeing here is the woke mob coming after a big time streamer for simply standing up and saying they should leave children alone. And while this may seem like a bad thing for Nick Merckx, it turns out this shallow virtue signaling by Activision has turned them into the gaming version of Bud Light. Because since the fiasco went down, now Dr. Disrespect also decided to stand in solidarity with Nick and he uninstalled the game. While some may think, well who cares if he uninstalled it, what's that going to do? You gotta remember that the Doc is one of the biggest FPS streamers alongside Nick Merckx. So not having some of the biggest streamers promoting and playing your game is terrible for metrics and pushing things like in-app purchases to keep the brand alive. Is uninstall the game. Number one. I mean, don't get a mistake, in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. Uh, but that decision by COD's PR marketing team <laughs> I feel like A, they either need to apologize publicly to him or reinstate his bundle in order for me to consider playing Call of Duty again. That's where I'm at. Then, as if all of this wasn't bad enough for Activision, Tim the Tatman also decided to stand in solidarity with Nick and Doc and publicly asked Activision to remove his bundle as well until Nick's bundle was reinstated. So what we're seeing here is a potential Bud Light level situation of backlash and boycotting but in video game form. People are very evidently fed up with the woke agenda and are tired of having stuff being shoved down their throats by literally every institution in society right now. But more so than that, this turn of events further proves that the goal of the woke agenda which I consider to be essentially a new modern religion that looks to rewrite the brains of people and turn them into insane ideology-driven fools, is finally getting the pushback it deserves this year on all fronts, and it makes me so happy. From Bud Light to all the horrible movies we've had released in the past few years that fail to this, it just proves that people are genuinely fed up with all of this crap. Now I'm going to say something that'll likely piss off anyone who thinks Nick Merckx is in the wrong, but I really don't care. I don't think Nick Merckx said anything wrong, and I genuinely believe he's right. What he said is not anti-LGBT, it is not anti-gay or whatever. What he's simply requesting is his own personal belief that it's the parents' job to raise their kids and not the government's. That's all he said. He never in any capacity said gay people are bad or they shouldn't exist. But the simple fact that his belief caused this level of outrage proves what a lot of people like me and other anti-establishment commentators have been saying. This is not about your rights. It's about governments and very powerful people having access to your children and punishing anyone who decides to stand up to these massive institutions. To remind you of how insane this push is, I want you to remember in 2021 when Robert Hoogland went to jail because he called his transgender son by female pronouns. 
Robert's child was born female but identified as male and Robert didn't accept this and because he refused it, he was punished. That's crazy and Robert spoke saying how his daughter began acting more like a boy and dressing like one after watching a film in school called Handsome and Majestic. And it turns out Robert was concerned because his daughter was forced into this position by her school, with one report saying, to his dismay, Hooglin later discovered that it was the school that started to pressure the girl to change her gender. The school counselor with whom he had met and raised his concerns about his daughter had actually made the change in the yearbook and encouraged the girl to embrace a male identity. According to British Columbia's Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Regulation, the child's parents were not informed of the changes. The school went a step further by referring to her with a male name and allowing her to use the male-only bathroom. In fact, Hooglin accused the school of socially transitioning the biologically female child on its own initiative, with the input of a gender ideologue psychologist, Dr. Wallace Wong. So as you can see, what Nick Merckx is saying here is essentially what Robert Hooglin went through a few years ago already. Although Nick's kid obviously hasn't changed their gender, I mean, his kid was just born, but the point still stands. Nick Merck simply voiced his opinion that he should be the primary person alongside his wife to raise and guide his child. And the result of the internet in places like Activision speaks volumes to how far they're willing to go in order to control everything, including your free speech. Nick didn't say in any way that trans kids shouldn't exist. He never agreed that physical violence was the solution to fighting back. He simply stated his opinion on Twitter, and it cost him. Unlike Robert and his kid, Nick has a platform, but what if Nick was just a regular guy living an honest, simple life? Do you really think firing him from his job, removing his ability to provide, and borderline ostracizing him from modern society is an acceptable form of punishment for simply saying, hey, I think we should leave kids alone? Do you realize how crazy that is? And how allowing these movements to grow without hesitation has led to more problems than ever before? Teenager, uh, I can't say the word, but teenage unaliving themselves and the dramatic increase in gender identities has exploded in recent years. That doesn't just happen out of nowhere. That's not just something that just magically appears all of a sudden. These sorts of things are carefully orchestrated and indoctrinated into the youth to create very specific outcomes. That's the point of all this. And I don't want someone watching this to think, I don't think trans people deserve to live or people can't identify as whatever, because I'm not. What I'm saying here is an extension of what Nick Merckx has been saying. Just let kids be kids. Stop trying to mold and push them to become something before they even know who they are or what they like. If a kid ends up being gay or bi, cool, who cares? I hope they live a happy life and they find someone who loves them back. But my usual morality line begins and ends when stuff starts affecting children. If an adult wants to explore their gender or whatever, it's their ability to do so. As soon as you're legally allowed to vote, buy smokes and all that, you're officially an adult. And your choices and consequences are yours to bear, regardless of who you are. But kids are kids. They don't know nothing. I don't care how smart some 15-year-old kid thinks they are. They haven't had the crushing reality of the real world weighing down on them like I have at 30 years old. Parents should be present and decide what's best for their kids. It's their duty as parents. But what these institutions want is to remove that critical connection to parents so schools and governments become the new parents. And once these kids are raised on certain ideologies, likely left-leaning, let's be real now, I mean, come on, I'm not being biased here. That's usually what is being pushed in schools. It's being done to create future generations that can't stand on their own. These future generations that are being raised by the school systems and the propaganda they consume will never be able to stand on their own two feet, as they'll constantly be mimicking whatever the ones in power tell them to do. Why do you think they call wokeness a hive mind? Because it's literally just that. Erase the individual and create every person into drones that push whatever those in power need. And when those generations become old enough to vote, they will vote what's considered politically correct in power, which are usually the ones that created the generation to think that way in the first place. These generations won't see the error of their ways and will continue to push what's been taught to them. 
until they will own nothing and be told they're happy because they are fighting the good fight when they're the victims of a system designed to exploit them to continue the cycle of insanity that society is currently entangled in. But here's the thing with wokeness. It's a language virus designed to replace the critical thinking pathways of your brain until those who are under its control can no longer differ between what's right or wrong. There's just what's politically acceptable and what the establishment considers wrong think. Just think about it for a second. Do you truly believe that Activision of all people really cares about their LGBT employees? The same Activision that has new sexual harassment lawsuits emerging almost every other week. The same Activision that censors LGBT themes in media in the Middle Eastern versions of its games, even though they supposedly champion those same concepts. If they truly did stand by their gay employees and fans, then Activision would ban their game's release or operations in any part of the world that refuses to represent those ideas. But the harsh reality that a lot of people need to realize is that these modern companies' values and policies they change and mold to fit whatever is politically acceptable at the time. So while they'll remove bundles for streamers who refuse to bend the knee, they'll also sell their game and censor gay rights in countries that openly hate the LGBT community like the Middle East. Because no matter what is deemed correct, the true motivator will always be money over anything else, which is no surprise. It's illegal to be anything but straight in the Middle East, and if these companies treated their relationship with the Middle East like they did with the West, they would cease business to stand in solidarity, but instead they will pander to every side simultaneously in order to make more money. I guarantee you, if there was a Middle Eastern equivalent streamer for Call of Duty like Nick Merckx out there, and they said that schools should leave the kids alone, Activision would leave their bundle up simply because it's culturally acceptable there to say that. It just proves that any form of cancellation by Activision here is just not being done in a genuine light. It's all fabricated and designed to maintain and fit the structure that is the new wave Western core values. In all honesty, unless Activision reinstates Nick Merckx's bundle, I honestly believe we could see another Bud Light level fiasco on our hands here. I mean, when streamers who are operator skins in the game like Alex Zedra even openly denounces Call of Duty, you know this belief is not isolated. Whether you want to admit it or not, the truth is that the current reality caters to a very small percentage of the population, while demanding the 99% bend over backwards to meet their every whim. The LGBT community is by far the most protected class of human beings in today's society. You are not a victim when every major corporation, political figure, or establishment pushes your beliefs 24-7 and then borderline threatens cultural exodus when others don't comply. I actually applaud Nick Merckx, Tim, and the Doc along with Alex Zedra with standing up to this insanity. These people have so much to lose from revenue to sponsorships. In a lot of ways, you could say them pushing back against the hand that feeds is career, uh, unaliving. God, it's so stupid that I can't say certain words on YouTube. Look, I hope more streamers, YouTubers, and media personalities all push back as well. Because this kind of stuff needs to be called out for what it is, and it needs to be stopped because the current climate is what happens when we all lay on our backs and just let it happen. Nothing Nick Merckx said is in any way anti-LGBT, and the fact people and places like Activision took what he said as anti-LGBT, that just proves that these institutions are actively seeking the impressionable youths of today. If they didn't, then Nick's bundle would not have been disabled, and none of this would be controversial or a problem in the first place. The battle against wokeness is not something small or pointless. It's a battle for your entertainment, the products you consume, and the very well-being of your kids, dude. Like, how much more clear do I have to be? So I'll end here so I don't keep either of us here too long. No, Nick Merckx did not say anything wrong, and Activision should publicly apologize to him. And if they don't, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this year's Call of Duty release ends up being a major flop. But maybe if that happens, Activision will be forced to bend the knee ultimately anyway. So, as always, thank you for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and keep up the good fight. I love you all, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.